What's up, everybody? Okay, Alex. <laughs> The way that you just looked at Okay, what's up you guys? Alex and I are headed to do some estate sailing. We are pulling into Starbucks right now though <laughs> to get coffee. And then we will look at the puppy. I'm gonna have to do this one over again for sure. Well, we are going into Starbucks right now. Bam. Oh, that was the Thai restaurant. So we're going into Starbucks and then we're hitting the estate sales. So excited for y'all to follow along. Okay, we're walking up to the very first one, and it kind of looks like it might be busy, but let's go see. Oh, I love their wallpaper. People have been surrounded by it once. <laughs> okay, well, we didn't get anything. We were gonna get some hats and a sweater, but everything was really expensive and we decided it wasn't worth it. So there's a really good one, like 15 minutes from here. So we're gonna drive over there and see if they have anything better. So we're walking up to the next estate sale and there were like 25 people waiting outside. It just opened, so they let everybody in. But look at all the cars. <laughs> this neighborhood is seriously like completely full from people being here. Oh, it's Sage Patton. Okay. They have like a giant pool out there. <laughs> so we saw this one online because it said that he's an adventurer. So he has like a bunch of like hunting stuff and camping. Um, it looks like most of it's sold. Like everything's really um, pretty cleared out. But he's got some cool stuff. This is neat. Whoa, this guy. <laughs> we <Chair>. don't swear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we got a chair. <laughs> they put Alex to work. <laughs> That's funny. All right, we didn't find anything here. It's a little cleared out, but we're moving on. 
quick pit stop at the post office. I have a lot of packages right now that I'm going to mail. I just listed a ton of new stuff on my Poshmark and so I have a bunch of new stuff up there and it's been going really well. I'm selling a lot of it. So just dropping off some packages and then we are back to estate sailing. What's up you guys okay it's actually the next day now the estate sale stuff was like super fun but we didn't really find anything but then we were driving by an apartment complex and I saw all these clothes outside of this dumpster so there's some more on the ground the first one I picked up was brand new with tags from Old Navy which is really cool these nine west so pretty they're in the box still so I'll take those I'll take all those clothes right there There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, let me hook up my camera. It's just gonna have to be good enough. Let's see. T-shirt. These are always helpful. Okay, I'm gonna use this suitcase to hold my stuff in. There's a Garmin. <laughs> Unopened bottle of wine. take this lamp the shades all bent up but the actual lamp itself is in nice condition
and then all of these purses and bags. So there's all that. to lift this bag into there. It seems really heavy, but I don't want to leave it out. that a few more clothes with the tags there's all that <laughs> all right so there's what we got and everything that's still in the car so there's also this big bag we got a garmin we got the shoes. There's the tree that I was talking about. We stopped and got this off a of curb alert. And sweet. So I'll put the rest of that in the car. And there we go. A little dumpster diving. Okay, so I'm home. It's probably like five days later. <laughs> but whatever, I liked the beginning of this video. And so I'm just like, doing an end to it, because why not? So I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I found at the thrift store yesterday. And I cleaned my garage, which if y'all follow me on Instagram, which is breathkist, um, I posted about cleaning this and it was insane. And I feel like I did like a pretty good job. I've got like my station set up here with like my eBay stuff. 
And then that pile is like Alex and I's holiday decor that like we are gonna decorate our house with over the years. And then this big pile of just, oh my gosh, so much stuff is all donations. So all of that is gonna be donated. Hi, Pinocchi. <laughs> Hi, boy. <laughs> He's so cute. But, okay, I'm really excited. I went to Goodwill yesterday, which I don't normally go to because their prices are like pretty high for a thrift store, but I found some really cool stuff. So let me set this up here. Um, the first thing that I got is this Jordan bucket hat and it is reversible. So, okay, so cool. I didn't think I would wear a bucket hat, but I've always wanted to. And it was a dollar for this freaking reversible Jordan bucket hat. So I bought it, I'm gonna wear it. I also got, let's see this um it's a gers gers it's a german um beer stein and it's missing the top but it is handmade in germany or i don't know if it's handmade in germany i guess it looks like it is it looks like hand painted but it is made in germany they're selling for like you know 10 to 15 dollars on ebay um it was a dollar 50 so i have it listed on ebay right now i got this Tommy Hilfiger bag, um, super cute, like tote style, still has the tag on it. And inside is this thing that says bonus gift. I don't think y'all can read that. There we go, bonus gift. And it's like this little wristlet. So I got that and the bag, pretty cool. Not listed anywhere yet but it'll be up on Poshmark. I'll probably do Poshmark for that one. There's that. This one I'm really excited about. <laughs> it's Mario um, and it's the 1989 plush. So it's not focusing. Did that work? I don't know. <laughs> okay, 1989 Mario Nintendo Bros. There's his foot that's stamped 1989. He's like obviously was a toy. He's got like all the coloring and stuff on him, but I already have a watcher on eBay for him and I started the bid at $10. So pretty cool. Um, I paid $2, $2.79 I think for him. And I was willing to pay like a little bit more without knowing if it would sell for much because if it wasn't gonna sell i'm gonna keep it so there's that i love him and but i think it will end up selling since it already has a watcher and it's like such a cool vintage piece i love it so a mario plush and then this which i thought that we were gonna be like millionaires from it you know because everybody thinks they're gonna find like the rare ty <laughs> beanie baby that's like worth thousands and thousands of dollars well i thought that that person was me and i was really excited but i don't think so i'm still not like a hundred percent sure maybe you guys can tell me ready okay it's um large curly ty teddy bear and Ah, uh, the tag, like, obviously he was a toy. He's not in good shape, right? Like he was well loved, but he's the 1991. Focus. Okay, it's not gonna focus, whatever. So, oh, now I messed it up. There we go. 1991, large curly, no birth date or anything. Handmade in China. So, I'm not 100% sure. When I first typed in like 1991 curly TY, um, places were like $45,000. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> but I think he's probably gonna sell for like 20 bucks, which still, I paid $2 um, thinking that I was gonna make 40 grand off of it and I'll probably make 20 bucks. I'm just kidding. I knew it wasn't gonna sell for that much, but I did kind of think like, oh my God, it happened like to me. Cause that's what everyone dreams of. Maybe not everyone. <laughs> but maybe every reseller dreams of that. So here he is, he's like 20 inches or 24 inches. 
he's a big boy. So I got that, which I was really excited about. And I guess that's it. Yesterday I listed um, a bunch of Legos on eBay, 3.6 pounds of Legos. So I'm curious to see how much those will sell for. I also listed these I found um, in a dumpster with like um, a bunch of other memorabilia and stuff. And they are eight millimeter film reels and they actually do have the film and I'm assuming there's some type of home video on it because they are marked like one, two, and three. I have those listed um, starting bid $4.99 and there's currently a bid and seven watchers and it still has three days to go. So I'm really curious about these. I wasn't um, sure what to expect from them, but I think that they'll, I mean, they're definitely gonna sell because I have a bid, but I think that they'll probably sell for maybe I'll say, 15 to 20 dollars maybe i have no idea i'm really pretty new to ebay but i'm learning a lot about it and i'm really enjoying it so yeah i listed lots of stuff on my ebay um if you want to check it out um what's my ebay breathkist one i'll put it at the bottom breathkist somehow is already taken on ebay <laughs> so we're breathkist one um and then the final thing that i want to tell y'all because i'm so excited come here boy Okay, and then the last thing that I wanted to tell y'all, um, I'm so excited, Pilgrim's DNA results are in, and I haven't looked yet because I want to look for the very first time, like, filming it so that we can all find out together, but his results are in! I can't wait to find out what he is. So, that's going to be my very next video, is going to be Pilgrim's results. So... Stay tuned and I'm so excited. And this weather, it's supposed to be like 75 or something today. Known cones in Argyle, their stand opens today. I'm so excited. Um, the Argyle stand was the very first Known Cones location and this is the third season now. So it's seasonal and it opens for the summer today. So super excited and yeah, there you go. So that's my video. <laughs> hey boy. And stay tuned for the very next one with Pilgrim's DNA puppy results. So excited. So there you go. I hope that y'all all have a super awesome day. Oh, look how pretty he is with his flower behind his ear. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Okay, so there you go. I hope that y'all have an awesome weekend. And if y'all um, find anything that you flip or find anything in the trash that's cool, tag me in it. I love seeing stuff like that. So um, I am on Twitter, I'm on Facebook. No, don't follow me on Facebook. I don't ever post on Facebook. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram. What else am I on? <laughs> I'm on YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, tag me in y'all's finds because I love seeing stuff like that and it's really fun for me. So there you go. I love you all. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you next time. Bye.